Yeah, the whole story about the moving from Ukraine to Australia, it was really sad for me because I left all of my previous life there and I needed to start my whole life again. With all these displaced people being in Australia right now and this being their first year, we thought it was terribly important to put something on for them to really let them sort of celebrate Malanka, but in the new environment in Australia, in the sun. We have family here, so that was the only one way to go to the safer place for us. My family was really sad because we like realised that we could not see our relatives and friends again. That was hard for them to accept that we are here you now. Sometimes I like to tell this story with a smile because it's better to feel that it's not that bad and you don't need to be really depressed about it. Melanka is Ukrainian version of New Year. It's like the symbol of starting of new life cycle. It's really significant for our culture because we have a lot of the tradition connected to this. Normally, we are together with our families, but now most of the people separated. And this is chance for us to be together, to find new friends, to feel that moment. I traveled to Australia by myself, uh, and I don't have family here. I don't have any people who I know. My mom decided not to go with me because it was like really difficult for her, like for most old people. It's really difficult to change everything and start from the beginning. I really worry about her and I think a lot about my friends. I really miss them. Today in Australia there are about 38,000 people who identify as Ukrainians. Most came out here after the Second World War and most recently we've seen about another four and a half thousand since, you know, February 24. We can do a lot of good by just providing, you know, some funding, some humanitarian programs and, you know, that's the job that we can do out here. When people celebrated Malanka hundreds of years before, it was about life, about new beginning and uh, now here we also try to feel life like every moment, every day, because lots of people died. And when I think about Malanka, when they're like celebrated life, I think we should celebrate life every day now, because we're alive.